gentlemen, my name is Kevin Jackowitz. This is the Cage Review. This is the Rock and Metal Review, and this is also the ABCs of Rock and Metal Influencers Edition. And when you talk about influencers, there is no band bigger for me than Judas Priest. Period. Uh, for the first two decades of my life, these guys were literally the biggest influence when it came to music. And I had their entire discography, and I would play the shit out of everything. But it all started with one album that my brother brought home to me, and we played the shit out of it. And there was one song in particular that just blew me away. And it was the very last song on the Sin, Sin After Sin album, and that is Dissident Aggressor. And if you've never heard this song, this song was created in like 1977. 77. Think about how long ago that was. Think about the sound that we have nowadays. And I want you to hear this opening lick, dude. It just gets me every time. Now, the vocals were very, very high. And that was one thing that I was like, eh, you know. But the song remains phenomenal, especially for when it was created. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is probably the album that got me hooked, I mean locked into rock and metal, and really the metal sound in general. It was Judas Priest, it was Sin After Sin, and it was Dissident Aggressor. So let's get it. Part of that is, like I said, uh, Rob Halford just can't physically keep up the vocals that he used to. Uh, he used to get incredibly high. And on the album version, dude, it sounds amazing. Like, it really does. So I strongly, strongly suggest, if you've never heard the album version, 
of Dissident Aggressor from Judas Priest. Go check it out. It is intense, in your face, just aggressive as hell. And for the time, it was one of the hardest sounds I think there was. It really, really was. It was phenomenal. Uh, and actually, I got very, very lucky. When I saw Judas Priest last year, uh, Halford, you know, it was the second show on their tour, and the, he sounded great. Like, honestly, the whole band sounded absolutely amazing. So I was very fortunate when I saw them last year at Rockville. Um, my first time ever hearing Judas Priest and seeing them live, and I never thought I'd ever get that chance, but I did. So it was awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about Judas Priest, and definitely give me some feedback if there's songs you want from the Judas Priest library, because they've spanned five decades now. And I absolutely would love to show the progression of these guys throughout that time. So if you have any of the suggestions, let me know. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. My name is Kevin Jack with Cage Nation. Oh.